Welcome, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition. If you do a general love reading, please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, it's for the collective Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy, please? Okay. So, uh, for some of you, this might actually have to do with some kind of opportunity that you're learning about. For others of you, this could be long-distance communication. I think for some of you, you haven't heard from somebody in a while. But you might be hearing from somebody who is at a distance from you that wants to move towards you. Um, I mean, ultimately, you have free will to do what you want to do. But I think that for some of you, this is somebody who does really want another chance with you. But they may have been really inconsistent in the past. Or you're kind of questioning if it's going to work because you don't want the past to repeat itself. For some of you. Um, for some of you also, as I said, you could, you could be learning about an opportunity like in your career. But it might involve travel, but it could be like some, um, more money for some of you. Okay, I'm gonna pull some cards for this from this deck. It's a bit harder to shuffle, so I'm gonna do my best here, um, and then I'm gonna just intuitively pick a few. Oh, there's one. We have the Ram. Ooh. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> They're like, we're ready. Ram, a stubborn or aggressive person. Ear, good news. And I think another sign also had this card, but I honestly can't remember which one it was. I mean, they might have been uh, Cancer, Leo, maybe, maybe Taurus. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So this is always a positive thing to see. Well, family wishes coming true. Okay. Younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And then we have the month of November. Now, this could resonate in a couple different ways. It could be somebody's birth month. Could be the time that you may have met someone. Maybe planning to see them again. Could be some kind of anniversary or maybe when an ending took place. It could hold many significances, but for some of you, November might be relevant for you. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who does not live close to you. Now, it could be this person is a couple hours away, maybe a different state, maybe somebody from even a different country. But this is somebody who I do feel like will be reaching out to you through, like, online, like, text, social media, calls, Skype, something like that. There's some kind of message because this person, they fe it feels like they're worlds away, okay? Sometimes the world can talk about, like, the internet, like, the World Wide Web. This can also be, like, opportunities, possibilities. Um... There may be some kind of chance here to rekindle something with someone that you've been still thinking a lot about, but have been holding back from. Because again, even if there are you know feelings that have remained, you're also in a position where you're trying to really protect yourself. But there is a conversation that's being started up. I think this person is reaching out to you, maybe after some time apart. And there's a lot of things that they want to tell you. They really want to clear the air about some things. This is somebody that you may have at some point felt like was, you know, part of your destiny or you could actually see yourself, you know, settle down with. I think for some of you, a lot of time has even passed. For some of you, they're telling me that you may have never met this person or it's been a long time since you've seen them. Um, but I think that there's kind of this feeling of like, this has been something that has like come back around maybe. It's like maybe this connection had been kind of on and off before in the past. I feel like for some of you, you and this person did talk about the future, like in the past, you, know, you may have talked about, you know, like getting married, having a family, building a life together, starting a business together, you know, meeting families, all those things, you know, you kind of painted this image in, in your minds, like what this could be. Um, and you really both thought this could be something that turned something serious. 
for some of you, somebody may have rejected a proposal or like I said, it could have just been talked about and then they didn't do it or they didn't follow through. You know, I just kind of get the sense of like a missed opportunity because there was so much potential there. For some of you, and I'm talking about just a handful of you possibly, because again, this is general. Please know that every single Aries who views this reading may go through a different situation. Take what resonates, leave what does not. There might be 10 of you, 100 of you, 1,000 of you, maybe more, okay? For some of you, um, it could be that they may have start, went to start off something else. Maybe they moved for a job. Maybe they moved for a relationship for some of them maybe it's something about money or inheritance uh, for some of you that could be relevant but I feel like you're very guarded right now because you're hearing from this person you know hearing all the things that you wanted to hear from them but can you trust them you know maybe you put up a guard because again this person did let you down in some way in the past I think there's an opportunity here to travel this person might say you know I'd like to see you face to face can I come see you you know um, can you come here like you want to meet somewhere I think this person like wants to get to you they want to see you face to face but I kind of feel like you've been in this place of even if you still had feelings for them holding back because again it just didn't work out in the past maybe you've tried many many times in the past to make it work but it just didn't and so you're in this position of I really need to protect myself I need to really be logical I can't let my heart rule me here because you know, maybe some of you have worked really hard to kind of heal and process this separation. Some of you might have even moved on to like moved, new relationships. Some of you could have started a new job. I mean, just really focus on yourself, your success, your family, your abundance, your, you know. Um, and this person, it's like, though there is like this desire that maybe this can work this time around. Again, it's like, what if I open this door again and I get hurt all over again and I have to start the healing process all over again? So I just feel like you're very nervous to fully let them in, let your guard down around them. But there's so many things that you want to know about this person and about what happened. For some of you, like I said, there could have been a younger woman. Uh, or maybe you are the younger woman. Maybe there's an age difference. Maybe that's why it didn't work out in the past. Um, I do want to say this, this, again, this could also, again, just be for a handful of you. If this person had been married... They may have wanted to move forward with you, maybe talked about commitment, but they weren't able to follow through. It could have been that they may have even tried to separate from someone who was very upset, controlling. But you might be hearing that this person actually has made some kind of changes in their situation in your time apart. Okay, that's for some of you. I feel like you really do want you know, to let this person in to hold on to them, but there's that fear that they're going to be guarded with you, that you're going to have to protect yourself and that, you know, opening the door for them again is really just putting you in a position to be vulnerable and to get hurt because, again, like I said, I think this is one of those things where it's kind of come and gone. And because of distance here, emotionally, physically, it's making it hard for the two of you to be together. And like I said, for some of you, there could have been some kind of block, whether that was uh, distance, money, um, family, or some, some of you, it looks like it could have been a relationship. The outcome here with the Queen of Pentacles, this person, I think that they actually could be offering you something more serious, but I think that you're very hesitant to take it, and you're going to need a lot of reassurance from this person. Some of you like said there could be a bit of an age difference here, but I do feel like this is somebody who has done a lot of maturing, but you're going to need to, to know that whatever it is that you needed them to do in the past that they could not fulfill has actually been done this time around, but they, they are saying that you are receiving good news from this person. For some of you, you could have already moved on to a new relationship and now it's like the most inconvenient time for them to come back in and try to work things out. And you know, you may have to put your foot down. Uh, let's see. Let us grab this situation here. Like I said, um, apologies if there is any confusion here. I am getting like a lot of different storylines. And since these are general readings, they're gonna resonate for you know a large collective. So if you take what resonates, leave what does not. I always recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone that you trust, somebody who will tell you the truth, okay? Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. So there is still a really strong connection between you and this person. We have children, which says your love life is being affected by children. For some of you, it could have been that maybe this person was not mature enough in the past. They weren't ready to settle down. Their priorities were not in place. They could have been dealing with another person who might have been very childish or very controlling. They may have actually had children, okay? Uh, we also have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So though there is, you know, a very strong connection between you and this person, and I do feel like there definitely could... Ooh, look at this. We have 
soulmate, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, and then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Um, this is someone who does want to make amends with you, but they are saying be careful. Do not be afraid to ask for whatever you need to feel confident and safe here, because I feel like even though this person is saying all the right things, there's a part of you that still feels very, very guarded here, because though you may still have really strong feelings for them and feel a really strong spiritual connection to them, and you're loving, like, reconnecting and spending time with them, possibly even traveling to each other, there is this hesitation and nervousness because you do not want to have a repeat of the past. So whatever it is that you need to feel safe and secure in this relationship, because again, you have free will to choose or decide. Some of you are shaking your head, mm -mm, it ain't going to be me, I ain't doing this again. Some of you are like, I could, you know, I've been waiting for them to come back around. Whatever it is that you need to feel safe and secure in this relationship, do not be afraid to ask that of your person, because the right person will be able to provide that for you or do whatever it takes to make you feel comfortable. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generous to send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.